Welcome back. We're here with more Eminem. Somebody Save Me featuring Jelly Roll. We have an official music video to this, which I didn't even know was coming out. <laughs> so this just came out today. And it's very odd timing because me and some of the other community members were just talking the other day. And um, we were discussing family members and friends who lost their lives due to addiction and talking about battles with addiction. So now, a couple days later, M releases a video for this. So, hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> it. It's much needed for a lot of people, and it's always a blessing when we get something new from Eminem. And I love the inclusion of Jelly Roll in this. You know, addiction is something very important to discuss for Jelly Roll as well as Eminem. So it's just a match made in heaven. And Jelly Roll took stance on Capitol Hill with his testimony, and we reacted to that here on the channel. So I love seeing Jelly Roll getting included for the last song of the album, and this being a different perspective from Eminem, where he lost the battle, is kind of insane to think about. But Jelly Roll's a good dude, man, and I love seeing him included in things. That's a, that's a special man. <laughs> Now, I know that I have not released my breakdown on this song just yet off of the new album, but I do have all of the songs. I broke every single song on the album down, and it will be coming out soon. I know a lot of people have been asking for this or that song, and I'm trying. I'm only one person, so I can only do so much, but I'm trying to get them all edited and uploaded. I know it's very sporadic, but if you're still supporting me, and waiting for those uh, anxiously, but rather calmly, then I do appreciate you. So since I've already heard this song and I'm not going to break down the lyrics again, I'm excited to break down what we see in the visuals. So thank you for being here. Much love to you and I hope that your day is going well. Daddy? Come eat! Oh, no, I'm so tired. Just come eat. It may not be in a minute, I promise. Stop. Well, then wake up. Shut the door. Somebody save me. Me from myself. I've been so long living in here. Another pill as I start the spiral. Message to my daughters, I don't... <sighs> okay. <clears throat> this is gonna be tough. It, it's always hard hearing this song because it really brings a lot of emotion out, but now we have home videos being included in the video to make everything so much more vivid for us. Oh, man, it's gonna be rough. Okay. Some of the things we've seen already, just like this shot right here looks like a floor model TV he's standing outside of just watching the home movies on the floor model TV. And I'm sure a lot of people who watch this music video might not even know what one of those are, but him looking back on these home videos, you know, when we hear the audio, that sounds like what we were listening to, but now seeing them just shines a whole different light on things. Right here. Right here. Him outside of this box and seeing his daughters watching old home videos just as he does when he looks back on things. It's them reminiscing on times that they spent with dad but now he is on the outside looking in and seeing how he is not there with them so he is reminiscing on these times where he should have been there with them that's just oh man another pill as i start the spiral Message to my daughters, I don't even deserve the father title. Haley, I'm so sorry, I know I wasn't there for your first guitar recital. 
didn't walk you down the aisle. Missed the birth of your first child, your first podcast. Looking down, sweetie, I'm so proud of how you turned out. Sorry that I chose drugs and put them above you. Sorry that I didn't love you enough to give them up. How to fuck to? I not love you more than a pill. Looking up to the ceiling from this floor on the wheel. Somebody save me, me from myself. been so long living in hell they say my Love that jacket. Motor City, bitch. Um. It's bad for my health. This right here. This shot right here. Whew. This is incredible. Such, such an important shot, too. Because when we look at placement, we are seeing him outside the box. As his, as his children are reflecting on times with dad we see him approach the glass and this is him doing self-reflection here as well but we see his reflection on the glass his children inside the box reflecting on memories with these home movies on the tv and the placement of the tv reflection being over his heart and then the layer of him reflecting on everything. God. It's the only thing that seems to fail. Elena, sorry that you had to hear me fall in the bathroom. Sorry that I missed oh, you grad you. Fuck. Wait, Nate, I should just congrats you. Nate. Fuck, man. Okay. This right here is fucked. All right. So we have Slim Shady in the bathroom. He's talking to Elena, and she's she hears him fall. So we hear that audio just as when we first listened to the song. But now seeing him collapse in the bathroom and the camera drop, and it's looking up, like him looking up at the sky. We see Elena here next to the sink in the bathroom, and Slim Shady topples over. When he collapses, his lights go out. But the light on his side of the room goes out, and then I'm guessing this is Nate on the bed because he's ta he starts talking to him, and the light goes on for Nate. So perhaps that's signifying that Nate had to step up and take responsibility for the family and take over some fatherly responsibilities. In the bathroom. Sorry that I missed you. Grad you. Wait, Nate. I should just congrats you. Nate, you on being a dad too. Carter and Liam look at you Little bro, sorry I left you Sorry that I'll never get to Hold a hug, my little nephews Stevie, I'm sorry I missed you Grow up and I didn't get to Be the dad I wanted to be to you Things I wanted to see you do This is my song from me to you Sorry I gave up, but I'm just so defeated God, what the fuck you want me to do? Somebody save me Fuck yeah God, every time when I, when I rap this song or I, like, sing along this song, that's that part when I hear that, fuck, fuck you want me to do. Like, I get, <laughs> I do just like it did, and I get so aggressive with it. It just comes out of me. But now seeing him display that same mannerism, that same frustration within himself, and he's standing over the bed, and he is looking down on himself like, what the fuck you want me to do? Because he's so fed up with his own bullshit. He's having an out-of-body experience. But I'm just so defeated, God, what the fuck you want me to do? Somebody save me. Me from myself. Has been so... Shit. Wow, okay. While he's having this out-of-body experience that we're witnessing... Jelly Roll comes in, so M's not actually rapping anymore.
But him right here, he is screaming at himself. He is going the fuck off. But you don't hear him. That's like his inner voice is trying to fucking knock some sense into himself. He's trying to get him to snap out of it. He's shouting. But we don't hear him. And that's just like himself. He didn't listen to his inner voice. Even when he was struggling, he wouldn't listen to himself. So why would he listen to anybody else? And here, we can't hear him right now. And it's just like he said before previously in, um, in his other track where he, uh, he says, I, I scream or I shout, but it's not allowed. As he's laying in the hospital bed on revival. been so long living in hell they say my lifestyle is bad for my health it's the only thing that seems to tell I've been staring at the video of Haley almost daily of her playing the guitar in hopes maybe that would give me the power to fight But the addict give me some coward He told me that I can't do it Had a second chance, blew it It's like I'm stuck inside an alternate reality But I know I'll turn it around And be able to walk her and Laney one day To the altar as proud as can be Right now I'm just weak As I fall further down in this deep hole And farther in the ground that I sink As they lower me in my coffin I feel the tears all falling down on my cheek I'm alone oh. No, no, no. See, when you listen to the song, there's a lot of things that you can picture. And we do that a lot when we listen to music. We get these vivid images in our head. And this is not something that I pictured as the tears falling down on his cheek. I, I, well, this was not what I was picturing. And maybe it's because I didn't want to picture this. But... Man, this is a powerful image right here because we are looking at this POV. This is his perspective looking out of his grave at Nate, Stevie, Elena, and Haley. And we can't even see their faces right now. They're just bright lights. And, and people will tell you, don't go towards the lights. But he wants to go towards the lights because they are his lights. That, that, that is his life right there. <sighs> you know, it's, there's a double meaning in this because on one hand, if people are telling you don't go towards the lights, that signifies if you go into the light that you're never going to return because you're passed on. But here, it is the fact that he went towards these lights and leaned into them, his family, that helped pull him out of this hole so that he didn't pass on. That gave him a new life. Wow, man. Mmm. God. The down in this deep hole and farther in the ground that I sink as they lower me in my coffin. I feel the tears all falling down on my cheek. Yo, he was crying, man. I don't think he was acting either. Like, he's literally breaking down right here. And it, it's hard not to if you're especially watching these home videos. I'm so damaged beyond repair. Wow. Life is shattered, my hopes and my dreams. I'm a lost call. Baby, don't waste your time on me. I'm so damaged beyond Fuck, dude. They really, like, there was a lot of love that put into this because 
saying baby don't waste your time on me like him talking to his daughter like yeah don't 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 worry about me and she walks out of the room like somebody giving up on you but it's also you telling them not to waste their time anymore fuck man I'm a And, uh, and next to us? Next Haley. To and how long you, how old are you? Twelve. You've been playing guitar for how long? About three months. Woo! Woo! Let's go, Haley! Oh, man. If you need help, you are not alone. That's the truth. That is, that's the damn truth right there, too. There's so many people struggling out there that feel like they're alone, and you may be one of them, but just know you're never alone. Even if the first person you turn to is not the one that helps you, there is always somebody out there that can and is willing to help you. Damn. Hmm. This, this was incredible. And for it to end in a bright spot, whereas he was in this, that dark moment in his life and the lights go out, to end with a bright moment like this, Haley smiling, I want to go back to this one part too. Where he's looking at Slim through the glass. And then he walks out the door. Very significant. Life. Right there. Right there. He is looking in and we see Slim sitting here in the chair. Slim Shady watching the home movie of what we just saw actually with Haley playing the guitar. And then the lights start to flicker. And that is him teetering on consciousness right there he is losing the battle so then the lights go out and slim disappears that's it and marshall gets up and walks out the door Life is dead in my hopes and my dreams. and then he closes the door and that is him Closing the door on Slim Shady, but it this is also this is, this is a what if what if Marshall didn't get through his addiction? So this is him closing the door, perhaps for the last time. This is a what if he walked out the door and never saw his kids again. But. When one door closes, another door opens. And he closed the door on Slim Shady. And now, he's able to live this life with his family still. And that is a beautiful thing. That's incredible. There, there are so many people, so many fans, that love old Slim Shady. And they say he's the best. And they all want Slim Shady back. But they don't stop to really think about what that means. Or they don't really care. And they want that old, drugged up Slim. But they don't stop to think about what his family wanted. Because his family just wanted Marshall. They didn't want the persona that is Slim Shady. So there is so many artists losing their lives these days. Young ones too. And they may be on top of the world for a year or two, and they're not even 20 years old. And then you hear about them in the news, and they lost their life. And so many fans are saying, gone too soon, gone too soon. We could have been saying that about Marshall. And he did die. And he, he, he got a second opportunity, he got a second chance. And he turned his life around. But then there's so many people that want him to go back to that way. They want him to be drugged up. Like, those are the same people that are saying gone too soon. 
for these newer artists. And that's just absolutely fucking ridiculous. You know, th this is an apology letter because of that time that he was at in his life where he wasn't able to be there for his family. And it's an apology letter from someone who is gone. It's just incredible writing, as always with Eminem and phenomenal music video. And Jelly Roll being on here with that gritty soulfulness, that ruggedness. Somebody who's been through a lot, you can feel it in their voice. You can hear it when they talk. Just, it's a perfect match, man. And the video to boot is absolutely incredible. And I love that this song can help save a lot of people and it means a lot to people but it's not even just the song it's that at the end he included a way of getting help and and so many people out there feel like there is no help for them but we are big big mental health advocates here on the channel and i want you to know that you're never alone there's always somebody that you can reach out to and if you ever feel like you can't just know that you can if you feel like you're going to be a burden on someone don't. Don't think that. I've felt like that before. So this is, that's my perspective. Don't feel like that. You know, it's... <sighs> Just reach out if you're needing help for anything. Reach out to someone. Through every dark night, there's a brighter tomorrow. I want you to remember that. <sighs> Let me get up out of here, man. I appreciate you guys being here, and I hope that you're doing well, wherever you are in the world right now. And even if you're not having a good day today, keep trying for tomorrow. Much love.